In the annals of space exploration, the Apollo 11 mission remains a monumental achievement in human history. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin's historic moonwalk marked a profound moment in 1969, capturing the imagination of people all over the world. But what if the moon landing wasn't faked because they didn't land, but rather because of what they discovered there? Hidden deep within the top-secret archives of CIA and NASA lay an untold story. Aldrin descended onto the lunar surface. They were taken aback by the extraordinary sight before them. Armstrong and Aldrin had been tasked with collecting lunar soil samples and conducting various experiments on the moon's surface. While they did accomplish these missions, they also stumbled upon something extraordinary. Hidden beneath a layer of lunar regolith, they found a series of metallic pyramids. The astronauts couldn't believe their eyes. The pyramids possessed intricate geometric designs and emitted a faint pulsating energy from their apexes. The discovery was so unexpected that Armstrong and Aldrin discreetly collected samples of the metallic material and energy, stowing them away on the lunar module. All of a sudden, the energy pulses became bigger, something had been triggered by Aldrin, and out of thin air, a satellite appeared. Many ancient astronauts' theorists claim this was cloaked in Earth's orbit all along, or was instantly transported from a different region of space. To prevent widespread panic and maintain control over this newfound technology, the government decided to keep the moon landing's real purpose a secret. They feared the implications of the pyramids and ancient alien satellite, both in terms of potential technological advancements and potential geopolitical chaos that would result from the revelation. The US government decided to contact Stanley Kubrick and invited him to a clandestine meeting at an undisclosed location. He was given a proposition that would change the course of history. They explained that his mission was to create a convincing simulation of a moon landing that would be broadcast to the world. The deception would allow the United States to continue reverse engineer the ancient satellite in the shadows. This would ultimately lead to the biggest technological boom in history, from personal computers to smartphones. Kubrick, intrigued by the audacious plan and the promise of creative freedom, agreed to take on the challenge. He brought his visionary storytelling skills, innovative camera techniques, and meticulous attention to detail to the mission. Kubrick would leave little secret clues in his movies about this moon landing, as we would later find out. The real question is what technology is waiting to be found, and also, if NASA have already replicated the ancient alien satellite as a blueprint to use in our own orbit. What about the cloaking technology? Or if it brought here by instant interstellar travel, we can assume these metallic pyramids are in fact interstellar highways, but what waits on the other side?